if you start GardenCAD Plus and open, go to your file and open, and open the drawing called House Decking Deciduous, this is the view that you will see. It's a design for a constructed wetland. What I'd like you to do is to move your mouse over, say, the blue wetland area and roll the wheel of the mouse away from you. You may need to click into the area, as I've done there, roll the wheel of the mouse, and you can see by doing that, you're magnifying your view of the drawing. If you roll the wheel of the mouse back towards you, you're shrinking the drawing, you're zooming out. If you reverse that and zoom in, and then hold the wheel down and drag sideways, you'll notice the pointer changes to a hand, and that enables you to pan the drawing to see other parts of the drawing that are off screen. You might like to try right clicking and select zoom extents because that will zoom you right out to see the whole drawing. So you're manipulating your view of a design for a constructed wetland. Notice there are a couple of extra tabs down here in the bottom of the screen. If you click on to layout one, what it's going to do is just show you this area of the design and wetland the tab called Wetland shows you a different area of the design. You still may have to right click and left click on Zoom Extent so that you see the whole page. So that represents a, a piece of paper that is how this drawing or this design will appear when printed. But you do all of your work in what's called a model. So go back to this zone here. And what I'd like you to do is to go to Tools and select Distance and measure the distance from the decking area to the back fence and if you do that you can see that the distance is 11901 and this drawing has been done in millimetres because in Australia most of the building trade works in millimetres so that represents 11.9 and only 12 metres to the back fence boundary. The site is a little wider, I can right click and repeat that distance command and measure from here across to here and you can see it's only 15 metres wide. So that area rear area of behind that house there's the footprint of the house there is fairly typical in size of, of an australian backyard so you're working full size in the sort of units you would use if you were actually constructing this wetland